Tennessee is known for two things, country music and bourbon. So naturally, our producer wanted to come here to historic Lynchburg, home of the Jack Daniels Distillery. Oh, we're also reviewing a 2013 Nissan Altima. It's a little known fact that whiskey comes straight out of the earth, ready to bottle. We're going to the caves. Okay, so it's not a cave full of whiskey, but as our guide explained, the water is a critical ingredient to the Jack Daniels recipe. It comes off still here, crystal clear. Oh, speaking of Jack. Me with Jack Daniels. He's so handsome. Like the world-famous whiskey, Nissan also has found a key ingredient to its North American success right here in Tennessee. Its production facility is located just an hour up the road, right outside of Nashville. You might think that here in the South, everyone would drive an F-150. Nope. In Tennessee, at least, it seems that everybody has a Nissan. It's a major point of pride for the state. That said, the Altima isn't the number one selling car in North America. Not yet. That honor goes to the Toyota Camry, built in neighboring Kentucky. With the 2013 Altima, Nissan, and Tennessee are hoping for no less than a number one hit. Hey, did I mention we're really close to Nashville? Nashville? It is hot out there. Here, have some AC. Oh, thank you. Have some AC. I'm going to turn that one off. Hmm. So you sat in the presentation today. I have no clue about this yes. car. First of all, can we just acknowledge how comfortable these seats are? Just take a minute. They told you to say that, didn't they? No, they didn't. No, this <laughs> is actually... And you know, we always actually, go for seats, the leather. And the cloth, I actually, the cloth is really comfortable. It's like sitting on a baby seal. I've never done that. He's on your window. Put the, the, put the thing down. They go, ah! Uh, he's in the door. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's free. Nice. You are free, my friend. Okay. Okay, so we ended up with the V6, which accounts for like, what, 10% of their total sales? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So again, we picked the car that nobody buys. <laughs> you know, this is. 3.5 like, SV. Yeah, the, this is probably <laughs> their most popular configuration, isn't it? For the 6? Yes. I mean, that. You are correct about that. What's the mileage on this thing? The mileage, this one is 31 miles per gallon on the highway. The 90% of the sales for the Altima that they'll get on uh, the four cylinder, that Dust is everywhere. a whopping 38 miles per gallon on the highway. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. Oh wait, there's Lynchburg. What? <laughs> I just keep wait, going. Wait, there it keep goes. Going. Keep no, going. no, 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 this is it. Yeah. Um, right this here. way. It's like a block long. <sighs> Oh my god, it's so cute! There's nothing here! <laughs> Nonsense. There's a custom jewelry and repair shop. There is oh, a... Oh, I gotta film um, some of this. More county news. Judy's leather. Do you want to stop and get around? Or, <laughs> stop and get around. Stop and, and look around a little bit? Not really. General store! No, we need to go. There's, oh, there's, look, a... there's a parking spot! It's great! It's beautiful here. It's tiny. It's when you're when you're like turn here, turn here. And I was like, where? It's like between this street and this street. This is Lynchburg. It's really cute though. We should go to the general store. It didn't lock in time. Hey, they have fudge. Great. Let's go. Who doesn't like fudge? No, there's this there's this road. Nissan okay. and give us directions. Where's the directions at? I saw directions when we came in. You're a guy. You don't need directions, right? Well, right? <laughs> oh, look at that. It has a backup camera there. Oh, it does have a backup. Oh, that was loud. What? <laughs> Something interesting about the backup camera in this car 
it has an automatic washer and dryer mechanism. So if it detects like a raindrop or if it detects dirt, anything that might obscure the view, it actually shoots a little bit of washer fluid onto it and then like a puff of air to dry it, completely automatic. Now that's technology. I'm not saying that technology was alien technology, <laughs> but, but it, it was, was alien. <laughs> I don't actually get that reference. So. You don't? Haven't you ever watched the History Channel? On the History Channel, whenever they do things like pyramids, how were they built? <laughs> they always have this dude who's like, I'm not saying it was aliens, but... Wink, wink. It was aliens. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this absurd. Yeah. Ah, dead animal. Ugh. 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 What was that? Could be armadillo. Do you want to... Oh, maybe. I don't want to go near it. What if it like jumps up and sucks onto my face? <laughs> This is it has tuned for fuel economy. efficiency. Right, economy. right. And this is the yes. same engine that you get in the Pathfinder. You get it in all the Infinities. It's basically the same motor with different headers, intakes, exhausts, you know, based on whatever happens to fit into the vehicle chassis and yes. to tune to whatever they need. In this case, 31 miles to gallon with a V6 with a certain amount of power. Why don't you go ahead and uh, play the play the, uh, the flute there? All right, let's do it. Oh yeah. You know, I love, it. I love it that the, that the CVT, it brings oh. it up to Redline and it just holds, holds it, it there, right on Redline. You know, if you're going to have a sporty oh. CVT, that's what you do. And this is a new CVT, which is great because I hated their previous CVT. 70% improvement on um, something. 40% reduction in friction is, I do remember that yes. from the talk. Um, yeah, no, it's... Well, they got most of the improvements in miles per gallon was through the transmission, if I remember correctly. It was through the improvements in the transmission. Yes. Uh, yes. Other improvements were from so. aerodynamics. Um, so it was like a point two nine 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 CD. CD. Uh, and then it's a... Um, there was some other stuff, too, uh, for fuel economy. Some little minor engine tweaks, some electronic tweaks. Um, I remember they, they dropped it an inch and they widened it an inch. I don't think that has to do with fuel economy, but that's Well, yeah, because that something. actually improves the aerodynamic flow. Sure. If you drop so it a little bit, you get a little bit of aeroflow. That might yeah. be why they got so so low of, uh, of a CD. Because anything under 0.3 is quite good. So the new Altima is lighter, gets great miles per gallon, and is super comfy. But now it's time to get some real world numbers, like the zero to 60 run. Okay. So go into drive sport. Okay, okay. count down. Three, two, two one. one. Nail it. Okay. <laughs> and 60. Six. That CBT is really weird. Even with the two of us in the car, the 2013 Altima 3.5 SV manages a respectable 6.5 seconds. Nissan says its new 38 miles per gallon four-cylinder is also the quickest in its class, but we didn't drive that one. Good to see performance not completely ignored in the name of economy, however. You know, if we still leave now, we can make it to Nashville before it gets dark. The V6 in this car puts down 270 horsepower and 258 foot-pounds of torque through the weird but wonderful CVT transmission. Let's look at the motor. Granted, it has ample power, but this is a V6 built for economy, boasting 22 miles per gallon city and 31 miles per gallon highway. If you want an even faster Altima, you'll have to wait for the soon-to-be redesigned Maxima. And uh, this is where you put the oil. Actually, one of the ways that they improved the efficiency in the CVT is they reduced friction by 40%, and some of that was due to using a higher technology viscosity oil. So it doesn't matter which option you get, you get the four cylinder or the six cylinder, they both come standard with Bluetooth, they both have the NASA-inspired zero gravity seats. Okay, we put this all together, and what do we have? We have one of the best mid-sized sedans on the market today. True story. Can I go to Nashville, please? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. You coming? Because I'm going without you. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> oh my God. 
almost forgot the camera. Ah. <laughs>